Hello, I wanted to introduce you to waypoints in DJI drones such as the Mini 4 Pro or the Air 3 or the Air 3S and show you how amazing they are. And in this short tutorial, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to use waypoints, how to construct them and how to get the best from them. When you want to start and create your waypoint mission, simply click on the squiggly lines on the left hand side of the controller, and this will bring up the waypoint option. From here, what we can do is there's two options. You can click on the map to create your icons and waypoints, or you can fly the drone into the position you want and create the waypoints individually. In this one, what we'll look at is expanding the map on your remote control in order to create the waypoints and what you want the drone to do, where you want it to fly, how fast you want it to fly, and where you want the gimbal to orientate itself. Within that as well, you can also adjust the height and the speed of the drone between the different waypoints. So here we've expanded the map that's on the remote control and we've centered it. What you can do now in order to create your waypoints is simply tap on the map. So if we put waypoint one in position and we go to waypoint two, waypoint three, waypoint four, and then back to waypoint five. And this will be where we create our waypoints. Within each waypoint, when you click on each number, you will get a number of options. What do you want the camera to do? Do you want it to do nothing, take a picture, start recording, or stop recording? In most options, you'll probably want it to either take a photo or start recording when it starts to fly along that waypoint. The green arrow you see will be the orientation of the camera according to the flight. So here, waypoint one, we are gonna click on start record. We can now adjust the altitude for those individual waypoints by clicking on them and then clicking on the altitude and sliding that bar. What you'll find also is there's a global speed. So when you click on that, you can go to global speed settings and then click on the overall speed of the whole mission, whether it be a low speed of 1.7 meters a second all the way up to 10, 12 meters a second. If you're doing a route mission like I did at the weekend, what you'll want to do is probably have it down to 1.7 so that you can follow the drone as it flies along that route. You can choose which zoom option you want in terms of cameras, the one to three times zoom or three to nine times zoom. What do you want it to do at the end of the flight, return to home? And what do you want it to do on loss of single? Do you want it to continue, land or hover? or even return to home. And then what you can do is decide which waypoint you want to be the start point of the mission. In this option, what we will do is click on number one because it will start from the beginning. If we click on number three, it will start at waypoint three. And if we click on number five, it will start from waypoint five and it will just do waypoint five. It won't go in reverse from wave point five, four, three, two, and then one. What I'm doing here is just checking that I'm gonna start on waypoint one and not on any other waypoint, because you don't want it to start in the middle if that's not your intention. And then I just click on the back arrow, check that everything else is okay. I've decided that the gimbal tilt 
I'm probably going to keep around zero just for this demonstration, although you can have the gimbal tail higher than zero or lower than zero. And anything lower than zero will point more towards the ground. You can also check on the zoom and how that's going to operate. What I do now is click on next and go. After this, you will see that the drone, which is the triangular icon on the map, will fly towards the first waypoint. When it gets there, it will get into position. If the altitude is too high or too low, it will go to the altitude that you have selected in your waypoint mission. It will then rotate in order that it flies along the correct route and it will get the camera and the zoom into the correct angles. As you see here, the drone is reorientating itself so that it faces the flight route. And the drone now will start to fly along the route with the camera at a zero degree gimbal angle, which means you're seeing horizon and the land beneath it. What you will see on the map is the blue triangle, which is the drone going to each waypoint and flying in the direction you have asked it to fly. The green triangle on those waypoints gives you an indication of where the gimbal, the camera, is facing while it is flying. And now we come to the end at waypoint five. This is another great feature. When you're in the waypoint mission, you can click on POI, the point of interest. If you have a person, a subject, or a building that you want to focus on for your waypoint mission, simply click on POI and then click on the map to point that POI onto that map. It will come up as POI 1 or 2, 3, 4, however many you have. You can then click on that to drag it into the location you want. Select the altitude of that POI. At this stage, it's 50 meters, but if it's a person, it'll probably come down to about 2 meters. And that will tell the drone what gimbal angle the camera should be at. Once that is done, what you'll find is you then click on the next button, which is link waypoint. Now, what waypoints do you want to link onto this POI? Basically, which waypoints do you want to image this POI? So in this respect, what we're going to do is we're going to get all of the waypoints, one to five. So you click on that link waypoint, and then what you'll do is you will click on one, two, three, four, and then five. And when you look at the map, what you'll see is those green triangles will move and orientate themselves towards that POI 1. What I do now is to click on the waypoint icon and then click on each individual icon and adjust the altitude. This helps you to create a cinematic effect while flying around a single POI. So here we are adjusting the height altitude of number three or number four POI. I'm now going to press the go button and what you'll see here, the drone is getting itself into position and then you'll see now how it focuses on the POI, which is where I am in the middle of the field. The altitude changes, the speed is still the same, the gimbal on the camera is acting beautifully and just locking onto that position. Remember, I've told her, the gimbal that my position is just two meters above the ground. And as the drone flies up and down, it still focuses on that single point position. And this is a really great thing about a POI in waypoints. We now extend ourselves up to about 120 meters and then it will come down again, still focusing on that single point that we've told it to focus on, on the POI. This will help you to create 
some really great cinematic effects in your drone videography. The drone now is just going to come back to return to home as I told it to and it will land back on the pad that I placed it on at the beginning. I hope that you found this helpful. I enjoyed making it. Happy flying. <laughs>